the ruckus being caused. In some other news coming in, Rajnath Singh, the Defence Minister on the line of actual control situation has said, and I quote, that recently there have been major developments related to the border at the line of actual control between India and China. Negotiations have been underway at the diplomatic military levels to resolve conflicts in some areas along the LAC. And after our long efforts, we have reached a consensus to restore the ground situation along the line of actual control. Listen in. बॉर्डर रिलेटेड एक बहुत बड़ी डेवलपमेंट हुई है भारत और चीन के बीच यलेसी पर कुछ क्षेत्रों में अपने कंफ्लिक्स को रिजॉल्व करने में यानी सुलझाने में डिप्लोमेटिक और मिलिट्री लेवल्स पर लंबे समय से बात चल रही थी हम सबके लंबे प्रयासों के बाद यलेसी पर ग्राउंड सिचुएशन को रिजॉल्व करने में हम आपस में एक कंसेंसस पर पहुंच गए हैं और उसमें कामयाबी हम सबको हासिल हुई है Akash is joining us. Akash, after a four-year long military standoff, India and China have achieved the unthinkable. It is absolutely creditable how you know India and China have successfully completed disengagement and now the arrangements for patrolling is happening. And, and you have the defense minister alluding to that and also crediting the efforts by both the nations in making this a huge success. Right, and Rajnath Singh, uh, time and again, has been mentioning that, uh, you know, these were the efforts at both uh, diplomatic as well as military level. Also, Avandika, as far as this posture is concerned, so right now, you know, while we are talking today, in fact, we are expecting that patrolling uh, will be happening at, uh, you know, several points in Depsang and Depchok area. Remember, when we talk about this whole process, so since 2020, India was mentioning that first disengagement, then de-escalation, and then, then de-induction, three Ds, uh, you know, have the important role to play. Of course, the final, uh, you know, thing will be the induction. But as of now, while we talk about the current developments, uh, so thing, you know, mentioning that how disengagement has happened and how both the countries have reached to an agreement where, uh, you know, they will be carrying out uh, patrolling at all the traditional points. Remember, Depsang and Demchok are the two areas, uh, you know, which were considered as friction points between the two nations where both the countries, ha countries had, uh, you know, temporary structures uh, erected against each other and troops were standing eye to eye. However, yes. on 21st of October, it was announced that how both the countries have reached an agreement. And now today, uh, you know, we are learning that disengagement has completed and now both the countries will be carrying out patrols at the at all the traditional points in Depsang and Demchok area. And after the accomplishment, that. Akash, of the significant breakthrough, when can we expect that coordinated patrolling to begin? So uh, from today onwards, Avantika, okay. uh, you know, it was the time given that uh, on or before 31st of October and today is the day when we are expecting, though we don't have any sort of official confirmation onto it, if, uh, you know, uh, Indian troops are going to, uh, you know, conduct the patrol today, but definitely sources are somewhere confirming that initial patrols uh, will go today and, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the whole design of the patrol, you know, it was discussed uh, uh, between the local uh, commanders there in Depsang and Pistok. But definitely, you know, today we are expecting this by this evening, it's seen by Indian Army that how patrolling is happening in these areas. Right, Akash. Thank you so much for joining us and telling us more about uh, the significant progress being made by both the nations, India and China, and the Defence Minister also crediting both the nations for the successful troop disengagement. Uh, we will continue to get more updates, but right now we are going to shift our focus to some breaking news coming in. The decision.